Today I'm going to show you how Abamas Weight and Balance mobile application works. On the login page, enter your username and password and hit enter. Go to the flight list here, and on the flight list you can see actual flights and test flights. For this demo, I'm going to use test flight 1212. Click on the OPM button. On the OPM page, you can generate the low cheat for flights with these five tabs. These five EV steps include entering the data for DOW, entering the fuel data, the weight limitation, the cabin data, and lastly, compartment data. In each section, the green items are mandatory items and will be required before you move on. In the DOW section, you enter the crew combination. For example, two cockpit crew and three cabin crew, and choose the pantry and hit submit. In the fuel section, choose the density of fuel from the drop down list, enter the total fuel and tanks for this flight, enter the taxi fuel, and the system will automatically calculate the takeoff fuel. Finally, enter the trip fuel and click submit. In the weight limitation, you can see the structural limitations for this aircraft and you have the ability to enter any regulated amount for takeoff weight. For example, for this flight, I enter 76,000 for takeoff weight and click the submit button and system will show you the maximum allowed takeoff weight. In the cabin section, for each destination, you must enter the passenger data. For example, enter 50 male passengers, 30 female passengers, 15 children, and two infants. As you can see, you have entered 95 passengers for this flight. On the table below, you must distribute this many passengers to the zones. I put 50 passengers here in zone B. There we go. And 25 passengers in zone A. And lastly, 20 passengers in zone C. Click on submit and system will show you the index here for any zone. On the compartment section, you can see a geographical layout of the aircraft and its holds and compartments and the position for each compartment. On the top of the page, by clicking on add item, here, you can enter any data to the compartments, holds and positions. Choose the compartment from the list. Choose the position. In this case, position 11. Enter the weight, say 500. And you must choose the type of item. We will select baggage and click apply. As you can see, the item has been added to the proper compartment here. Again, let's add one more item. We'll choose compartment three and position 32. Enter the weight for the item cargo and you have the ability to enter another item in the same position by clicking on the add item directly under the script. So we'll type 550 for um, mail. By clicking on the apply button, the system will show you a prompt indicating that you are exceeding the position weight capacity. So you can change the weight number and apply. And you can see the items are in position number 32. Finally, click on the submit button. And now that you have entered all the required information, you can finalize this flight. 
This will take you to a summary of the information. And if you click on load sheet, the system will show you the load sheet for this flight. You can choose also another document from this drop down list, such as load sheet and LDM or CMP message uh, and so on. Okay, so you have the ability here to email this document to any e email address, or you can save the document as a PDF, send it, share it, download it, etc. For each flight, if you click on the chart button right here, you can see the CG envelope for this flight. The red button is the current CG for the takeoff, and you can see the other information right here. Basic weight, dry operating weight, uh, takeoff weight, and the amount of underload. And that is all for this demo.